This is seven ways to steal diamonds from noob one, two, three, four. Fake chests, yes. Magic ones, and even clones of myself. This is bad. Why are they discussing? Look at noob one, two, three, four. He's just staring outside of his window. It's almost as if he can see me right now, but we know he can't see us because he is a noob. Now, the first way we're gonna be stealing his diamonds, honestly, it cracks me up thinking about it, but we are going to be crafting a dirt chest inside of Minecraft. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, this is not clickbait. If you gather eight pieces of dirt and then you make yourselves a crafting table, you can then craft yourself a very own chest of dirt. So we're gonna put the eight blocks here just like we would normally make a chest with and bam, the dirt box transformer. Now, if you guys think this is going to work against the noob to steal his diamonds, go ahead and leave a like down below. I wanna see 100,000 likes on this YouTube video, okay? Oh my gosh, this actually looks so good. Wait, he's typing? What a day, I think I will go fishing. I love how the noob spells. It's kind of like the Chick-fil-A cows. There, oh, <laughs> okay, so he's literally going fishing. He didn't lock his door or anything. And, oh, okay, he's fishing kind of close by, so we need to be careful. So if you read the lore of the chest, it says a chest made out of dirt used to transform into a dirt chest. We just need to sneak around his house. He's got this sign here that says intruder enter here. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna go down that hole, noob. One, two, three, four. It, it seems a little obvious that you're trying to get rid of me. What did he do to his sheep and his chicken? Oh, his chicken looks terrifying. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna place down the chest right here. And basically what this does, this transforms us into a dirt chest. And you guys know what noobs love. They love dirt. Why? I don't know. Because because I do not understand the psychology of noobs, but I do know that he is walking towards us as we speak. Yes, noob. Do not put your fish inside of me, okay? I want diamonds and diamonds only. Hey, come, hey, come on. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, if the noob puts diamonds inside of us, you have to do me a favor. You have to take the device you're watching this video on, and you've got to make that red subscribe button gray, okay? Oh, here he goes. Hello, good looking chest. Where did you come from? <laughs> How does this guy not realize this is a prank? I mean, sometimes I almost feel bad for the things that we pull on the noob, but then at the same time, I realize I like trolling people too much, okay? <laughs> He's holding diamonds. He's holding diamonds. Put, yes, yes. Put, put the diamonds in me. Yes. Oh. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That is what we talk about. How many diamonds did he just put inside of me? <laughs> he just put in the chat. He goes, I will be back soon, dirt chest. Keep my diamond safe. Oh, I'll keep your diamond safe, all right. Safe inside the bank of Preston. All right, let's transform and... <laughs> He only had six diamonds. Are you kidding me? Dude, here I was thinking he put like a million diamonds inside of me. The guy literally had only six diamonds. That may literally be all of the diamonds that the noob owns. The next way we are going to be stealing diamonds from the noob is the unfair trade. Now, the unfair trade requires us to reskin a block to look like diamonds. Now, this is kind of difficult. So to make it easier, we have to find this special type of ore in Minecraft called the Magicite ore. Okay, well, uh, wait, wait a second. I found... <laughs> I found diamonds. This is not magicite ore, but I am definitely going to take this because this is delicious. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. I think I see some, oh, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is a magicite ore. We only need one of the orbs that you get. I love the look of it. It like, I just love the animation of the magicite orb. I need a little bit of wood because we're gonna be making a magic wand with this bad boy. Like we're in Hogwarts, basically. Check it out, ladies and gentlemen. This is my house. I know, modern orange. It is beautiful. We just need a crafting table, which I believe I have right over here near the bedroom. So here's how you make the wand. You literally just put the orb, two pieces of sticks, and the orb at the top, and you get a magicite wand. Throw the stack of dirt on the ground, right click it with the magicite wand, and it turns into a stack of fake diamonds. Notice the spelling of it. It says Demon Block. Now we're going to place a merchant spawn egg right here on the pedestal. <laughs> I love it. Look at how newbie he looks. Hi, my name is Noob1234 Merchant. What can I do you for today? I need you to sell fake diamonds, sir. I'm telling you, this guy looks like a noob, but he is a highly trained professional. Yes. Okay, we're gonna throw him all of our fake diamonds. Take, take the diamonds. <laughs> all right, this is perfect. It's time to drink our invisibility potion and hide. Oh, there he is. He's coming. Yes. 
Okay. Oh my, he's got more diamonds. So the noob is going to trade this merchant for the diamonds he's holding in his hand for the fake diamonds that we retextured that are actually just dirt blocks. And of course, he thinks he's getting an amazing trade because he's trading, well, you know, a few diamonds for a stack of diamond blocks. This conversation is too much. Oh wait, the merchant threw the entire stack of fake diamonds on the noob. Oh, I forgot to mention, but when you place the diamond blocks down they turn back to dirt so i'm going to follow the new because i want to see if he's going to place them down and try to mine them oh he's apparently very excited he rung his bell he just okay really he shut me out hold on i can still see from the door this is perfect put him down put him down bessie is he gonna put him down what's he doing no i can't see him anymore i'm going to go inside oh he <laughs> He placed it down. Look, it's just turning into dirt. <laughs> oh my gosh. Probably one of my favorite pranks in all of Minecraft. I love the Magicite wand. Oh, hello there, merchant. The noob gave him one diamond for a stack of 64 diamond blocks. Ladies and gentlemen, let this be a great life lesson to you that if the trade seems unfair, it probably is unfair and you shouldn't make the trade. The third way we are going to be stealing this noob's diamonds is we are going to be crafting a mind control helmet. All you need is a redstone block, four iron ingots, and of course, our This Valentine's Day at Preston Styles, you can buy one of the original fire t-shirts using code FRIENDSHIP, and you will get another one for free. So what are you waiting for? Go to PrestonStyles.com. I'm gonna put this on just to show you guys, but it looks really cool. Also, at the same time, it looks kind of scary. I would not recommend putting one of these on. I really hope this works. Ladies and gentlemen, this plan is foolproof. We are going to put the helmet down at the front of the door. Wow, it looks so big. Holy moly. I can see noob one, two, three, four in the back. We're going to ring the doorbell a bunch of times. Okay, I think that's enough now. We got to run away and hide. Go, 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 go. Where's he at? Where's he at? Go to the door, noob. Go to the door. I don't see the noob. Where is he? Where is the noob? Oh, yes. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see. There he is. There he is. Yes. Yes. What is he doing? <laughs> just broke the dirt instead of opening the door. Now, I know you guys can't see the mind control helmet. It's because my render distance is set to low. He's got the mind control helmet in his hands. Yes. Put it on, noob. Put it on. Maybe he doesn't know how to put on the helmet, and that's the problem here. He's kind of just wandering. Oh, he thinks it's a hat. Yes. Well, I mean, he's not wrong. Technically, it's a hat that control. <gasps> he actually put it on. Ladies and gentlemen, this is where we get to activate the mind control remote. Three. Three, two, one, yeet, and we, <laughs> wait a second, we are now the noob, oh my gosh, I once did swap brains with the noob, one, two, three, four, it was a terrible experience, and I would never recommend doing it again, as you can see, he's typing in the chat, he has no idea why he's unable to control his body, and this thing does not last for long, we need to just quickly find the diamonds, actually, wait, hold on, I kind of want to mess with this farm, we're just gonna, <laughs> Here, I'm not gonna be that mean. I will put your seeds back inside of your chest, noob. There you go. Now we're gonna go upstairs. Where is this? Where are your diamonds, noob? I don't want your fishing rod. Come on. Wait, dude, where does... Oh, this has gotta be where his diamonds are hidden. 100% under the bed? No diamonds under the bed? Are you crazy? Oh, 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 oh. I know there's a... Ladies and gentlemen, we found the diamond. For those of you guys who didn't watch the video where Noob1234 swapped brains with me and jumped in the lava with all of my diamonds and diamond armor, this is revenge. Normally, I would let the good lord get revenge because I'm a Christian man, but since we're playing Minecraft, I think it's okay this one time. Sorry, Noob, but it's time to get my revenge. Yes! Oh, man, he's so mad. Oh, oh okay, so the Noob died and we immediately swapped back. Bro, <laughs> that could not have gone any better. Wait a second. Hold on. The noob is underground. Wait a second. So that means that the noob has a secret basement he's hiding from us, which brings us to our fourth way to steal diamonds from this noob. Welcome to the first segment of Noob News. Noob has his own YouTube channel. You should definitely go subscribe to it. And if you don't, I'll pour this hot coffee on you. Come on, noob. I love the way he types. Time to go mining. He's saying goodbye to his friends. Is he coming this way? No, 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 don't come this way, noob. Go that way. Yes. 
Yeah, he wants a- Is he bringing a wooden pickaxe? This man needs Jesus and he needs some help, ladies and gentlemen. Can we get a fire emoji comment down below for the noob one, two, three, four? Did he just jump in lava? Did I just watch him jump in lava? Okay, well, we're not going to talk about that. We're just gonna go inside of the noob's house. Now, there's something inside of here in particular I am looking for. The one thing we are going to need is we're going to need one wheat seed. So I'm gonna take these and I need to find where his basement is. I think his basement is somewhere in the corner of his house. Okay, what is this? This is a mess. This is like, he, this guy's gotta fix whatever is going on with this room. This is driving me crazy. Oh, it was to keep me out from finding the basement, huh? Where? Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, we've got some very angry wolves down here, which means I feel like he's hiding something. Okay, can we have a moment for noob1234? I'm kind of proud of him that he was able to tame wolves. <laughs> like, uh, that's a pretty big step for the noob1234, ladies and gentlemen. However, it is very easy to get rid of these angry dogs. We just have to find some bones, and there are four inside of this chest, which should be just enough, because we're gonna put these in the crafting table with our wheat seeds, and this is going to give us the wolf pacifier. It's actually just a rubber chicken, but the wolves don't know that, so don't don't tell them, okay? Hey, Wolfies. Wolfies. Here, here, Wolfies. Here, I'm your friend. I am your friend. Yes, we have tamed the wolves. Dude, this is so sick. All right, so now that they are tamed, we should be able to give them orders. Come. Oh, that worked way too well. Oh, so when I switch to the diamond, all of their heads turn. What if I can give them diamonds? Yes. Oh my gosh. They've got the scent of diamond. Wolves, find the diamonds. Go. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. This is epic. How are wolves opening up chests? I don't know. This is our biggest haul of diamonds yet. Nine diamonds? Not bad considering that the- Why is the noob hiding diamonds? It like, like, no offense to the noob. This is a terrible way to protect your diamonds. They're not really safe. If I had a pickaxe, I could break through this in like half a second. I've got to say, dogs and wolves are really a man's best friend. Especially in the case when you're trying to steal diamonds. I might be able to steal the wolves. Hold on, we're gonna, we're gonna go far away from the house, and we're gonna type, come. Alright, here we go. Oh, whoa. The noob is getting a little bit more precautious. These are definitely arrow dispensers. And this is definitely a pressure plate to activate them. I'm going to test it. Oh, what is it? Wait, what is he doing? What are you- Wait! <laughs> Noob, what are you doing? Hello? Oh! I didn't even notice! Okay, there are dispensers also on this side. The noob is really trying to kill us. We're gonna go back to my house because I have just the thing to absorb these arrows. This is not magic, ladies and gentlemen, but if you take 64 creeper heads and four stacks of magma blocks, we toss it into the crafting table. It's kind of like you're making a wither, then you will make Preston Play spawn eggs. Now, if you spawn these, it spawns dummies. They can take damage for me. They look so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude, look at all of the dummies we could spawn. That is a lot of Preston, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if the world is ready for that many. Here we go. We're back at the noob house. We've got the invisibility potion on. Okay. Okay. The noob, for some reason, got shot by his own arrow. Ladies and gentlemen, here goes nothing. Placing the dummy down. Oh my gosh. Guys, I don't know what happened, but all of the dispensers activated simultaneously, and the dummy is absorbing every single arrow. Are they done? My dummy didn't even die. Can you even call- Wait a second, he almost shot his sheep. Bro, dude, he had his dispensers facing his pet sheep as well as his pet chicken. I mean, if you can even call this a chicken. <laughs> now, noob, where are those diamonds? We did check under the bed earlier. I think the noob thinks this this is like the safest place to put his diamonds. I know in an episode of SpongeBob that literally Mr. Krabs hit all of his money under his bed. I would recommend you guys go to a bank. Don't put your money or your valuables under your bed. Maybe if it's in Minecraft. But in real life, I recommend opening up a savings account or a checkings account or something like that. You know, something a little bit more safe. Hopefully the noob has learned his lesson. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is the power of the Preston Plays dummies.
Remember earlier when I thought the noob died in the lava? He actually has a secret minecart system that is actually really well done. I mean, I don't know if he set this up, but I'm assuming this is where he's finding his diamonds. <laughs> Once again, he's using redstone torches to light his pathway instead of normal torches, which redstone torches don't work. Oh my gosh, wait a second. The noob has found the mother load of diamonds. That is a juicy vein of diamonds, if I do say so myself. Look at how excited the noob is. Oh my gosh, he finally has an iron pickaxe. He has learned that you cannot mine diamonds with a wooden pick. Okay, he's putting the diamonds in the minecart chest. Oh, what the? Okay, he just pushed the chest up the system. Oh, wait, so, dude, is he just gonna stay down here while he pushes the diamonds upstairs? Dude, this is a long climb. I feel like my calves are getting a big workout in. Here they are, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh, there it is, the diamond. Okay, I have a really naughty idea to potentially replace this chest and put a TNT inside of it. Why is he only mining one diamond at a time and then pushing the chest up? This doesn't make any logical sense. Okay, I'm, I'm psyching myself up because I kind of feel bad, but we've got to do it. This is going to be so epic. Minecart with TNT. <laughs> Place it down, ladies and gentlemen. Now this is the fun part. This is where we're going to push it back. Okay, new. I hope you enjoy this. I've got a nice present for you. Oh my gosh, it's going so fast. I literally can't even keep up with it. Oh, my, wait. Oh no, it's gonna blow up the diamonds. I didn't think about that. Oh no, noob, run. Noob, run. No, no. Oh no. Oh no. This is good. He didn't blow up the diamonds. Okay, I thought the diamonds were for sure going to blow up. Dude, he found a huge vein of diamonds. Eight? Like, when I find a vein of diamonds in Minecraft, it's like four, sometimes three? The noob is starting to get luckier and luckier. Guys, something weird is happening outside of noob's house. He's talking with Pro1234, who is known as otherwise the world's most annoying Minecraft player. This is bad. Why are they discussing? The noob says, thanks again for the help. Someone keeps taking all of my diamonds. I wonder who that could possibly be. Definitely not me. No problem, noob. This vault should protect your diamonds from any intruder. Wait a second. Is the pro helping the noob harbor the rest of his diamonds? No, 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 no. You better not be doing anything funky right now, pro. Why would the pro work with the noob? This makes no sense. I mean, the pro literally gets no satisfaction out of helping the noob other than doing a good deed, which is always something that you should do, but it doesn't make any sense. Normally pros don't get along with noobs. That's just usually how things go. Seeing the pro work with a noob is so strange, guys. I don't like it. <gasps> Look at the vault. What? Dude, I thought this was only in like movies. What? Okay, this is bad. So the pro helped the noob make this, and I'm a little worried because this parkour is definitely difficult. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of struggling a little bit, okay? And like, I'm a man who is known to be decent at parkour. Sometimes, even amazing. <laughs> Ooh! Oh my gosh, we did it. Okay, so you see that pole to our right? That's where we somehow have to jump to. <gasps> we are better than the pro, ladies and gentlemen. We have to make this jump and then go up here. This is going to be difficult. Okay, and... Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Wait, wait, what? There's barrier blocks on the other side. Wait a second. So we just did all this parkour, but it's impossible. You can't even get to the other side of the vault. What am I supposed to do? Well, I'm just gonna, what? There's gotta be a different way inside the vault. This cannot be the only way inside. Wait a second. Hold on, do you guys see that right there? Can we get a, a zoom magnification, please? Yeah, that's an entrance to the vault on a different side. And if I'm looking at where I think this entrance is going to be, <laughs> what? Dude, for the pro building this, this is incredibly newbie. Tunnel for noob because he's too newbie. Well, pro, because you built this tunnel, it is way too easy for me to find where the vault was. So it's only a four digit code. What do the noob and pro both have in common, ladies and gentlemen? I'm going to give you a hint. Here's the noob's name and here's the pro's name. They both have one, two, three, four in their name and we are going to see if this is the special code to open up the vault. Dawn one, 
two, three, four. Oh, here it goes, ladies and gentlemen. The vault door is literally rolling away. Well, that was a very cool animation. Oh my gosh. One, <laughs> dude, look at these giant double chests all with a one diamond. Are these real diamonds? Bruh, I'm just gonna punch all of these off the wall. If you comment in the first 60 minutes of a brand new video being uploaded, we will feature your comments right down here. See you all next time.